Did you know that for a while, graphics cards were earning like $5 a day or sometimes even more in passive income, just mining cryptocurrencies. And now GPU mining is not all that profitable, but a lot of people are still running or have graphics cards. Like you can see here in the Voscoin background. Well, artificial intelligence, the AI boom, is sparking a huge new demand for compute power, CPU and GPU. And some projects are finally catching up that could essentially crowdsource that GPU cluster and CPU cluster, which is very similar to basically mining, and facilitate all of that AI processing. Today, we're gonna to be digging into a cryptocurrency project that looks to pay you for your hardware that you'll be running yourself. I'm Voss here on the Voscoin YouTube channel. I'm pretty excited for this one because I've been watching GPU mining uh, profitability just suffer for a very long time. I mean, look at this list. We have graphics cards costing around $2,000, $1,000, $600, okay? Making somewhere between two and 11 cents of actual profit per day, right? The, the revenue looks okay, Right, I mean, you got this thing making a dollar a day, yeah, but after the electricity bill, you're not even close to pulling a, a dollar a day. And, it, and it's weird because there are so many cryptocurrencies. <laughs> That's a lot of red though. There are so many cryptocurrencies. Wow, Nervos went down 25%. That doesn't, that's not good. I have 16 full-size CKB miners. That's that's not good. But you know what? Let's actually talk about that. That's one of the beauties of multi-purpose hardware, like a graphics card that can mine A, B, C, D, E, F, G coin, whereas an ASIC miner mines one specific mining algorithm, right? My Eagle Song algorithm, ASIC miners only basically mine Nervos, uh, for better and worse. So, but my point here being, and the reason we're on this page is there are millions and millions and millions of coins mine per day but it isn't that profitable on graphics cards because they're taken over by asic miners so today's video is made possible thanks to io.net and they are saying the internet of gpus is finally here okay well what the hell does that mean the power of global gpu resources with a single click right and so this website is really built as like we've got a bunch of gpus that we could let you use decentralized clusters dpin buzzword out of the box pre-configured deployment for your favorite ml stacks streamlined cluster deployment instant payments on the solana blockchain on-demand gpu access they also have cpu access you compare their pricing they boast that they are better and cheaper than their competitors okay well from my point of view i'm a lot more interested in io worker put your gpu to work huh yeah proof of work no, 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 it's different than that, but it's similar. And accelerate your earnings. Connect, monitor, and earn on your worker. So, oh man, that logo brings me back. Unreal Tournament 2004, better times. The takeaway though, and, and check this out, they went right after nice hash for a comparison here. Capitalize on your infrastructure. Skyrocketing profits on your infrastructure. Unprecedented profits on GPUs and CPUs. I mean, if you can have something so bold to say, well, let's hear it. Let's hear it. RTX 4090 used for this comparison here. Uh, they claimed that you were earning $8.88, so $266.40 monthly, as opposed to $1.53 daily, which translates to $46 monthly in comparison. They have their own token, io.net which we'll talk more about here uh, later on in the video and we'll run through the tokenomics it has a market cap of 422 million dollars right now it's really only been trading for a week and it has an absolute major listing which is on the binance cryptocurrency exchange logging into their site's easy you can sign in you do like an sso with your email and then i put my solana address in there and then I've got these different options. Uh, so these are what they call like their elements. Uh, so if we click on worker, we can go ahead and connect a worker in here. And let's check that out briefly. The, today's an overview video. If you wanna see a full tutorial video, let me know down in the comments below. What operating system are you on, right? Mac, Windows, everyone's favorite penguin. All right, so let's just say you're on Mac OS. Uh, so they support CPU workers and not GPU workers, but the M chips are notoriously powerful but you're probably more interested in GPU mining. 
Well, you may not have one of these CPUs, but when you click on the GPU section, we have graphics card support going all the way back to the venerable 1080 Ti, my favorite graphics card, of course, of all time. You would be best suited to use this marketplace if you're familiar uh, with Linux, because we're gonna be doing things in the CLI, the command line interface, uh, to actually participate with mining. You can see big support on uh, GPUs and then going to be the same CPU support as we saw on Windows there as well. So let's just say we're on Windows, then we'll go GPU worker and we'll click the next step. At that point, you follow these steps. You download Docker, uh, you install this, you download this binary and run the command. If you're having troubles with setup, they suggest you contact their support. I also suggest that you join the Bosscoin Discord server and ask fellow community members that may be trying this out as well after this video goes live. Uh, if, if you have any questions, if you can get you know a little bit of help. Uh, some of these things may be a bit foreign, but trust me, it's not that difficult. If you wanna do this, you'll be able to do it and figure it out. Once you go ahead and connect a worker, you'll be able to start earning. And so on the earnings and rewards page, you can see that you will be earning in their coin. I love the fact that they have jobs served as well as total hours. So to know, you know how many jobs my hardware fulfilled and how many actual compute hours it processed. Very, very cool. You can even break it down by your cluster ID. You can truly become your own little mini DIY decentralized data center with a platform like this. I don't want to come off, you know, like a shell, like, oh, you made a YouTube video and you're excited, so you're a shell, right? But like, I've been waiting years for projects like this to come about, and we're finally seeing it, right? Because, you know, NVIDIA it has been going crazy. And that's because there's so much interest in AI and tech and technology, and they've really kind of cornered that AI just compute market. Uh, data centers can't build fast enough. I mean, they're trying to build over here, over there, everywhere, all the time. All these things combine to bring NVIDIA up a just cool 200% over the last one year. If we go to the cloud section that they have, you can deploy a Ray cluster, a Mega Ray cluster, and they have more cluster support coming in the future. Opening up their Explorer, we can see what kind of hardware is deployed here. We see a lot of 4090s, 3080s, 2080 Ti's, and then at the bottom of that popular list, the M2 Mac chip. I love that we can see some real-time transparent pricing here as well. So I can run a 3080 for you know, 20 cents an hour or an M2 chip for 11 cents an hour. And some of that beefier hardware carrying a true premium, getting towards the dollar an hour. Another cool feature they have is a network map. So you can look at what hardware is deployed roughly where. This is particularly interesting due to latency and things like that. Like, I'm not gonna have as good of an experience if I am running hardware that is deployed in China as opposed to hardware that's deployed in my same state. In my research, another thing I found is that they have a venture capital arm uh, associated with this business, uh, and they are powering BC8.ai. Uh, it's fully funded by IO Ventures, uh, and it's powered by uh, their actual hardware. IO Venture is looking to basically connect startups with the actual tech, the compute that they may need. Particularly interesting in the era where everyone is slapping AI onto anything they possibly can. They claim that AI compute requirements have been growing tenfold every 18 months. OpenAI's rental of over 300,000 CPUs and 10,000 GPUs for GPT-3 training marks, just the beginning of this compute intensive era. I absolutely enjoy that there is a non-anonymous team attached to this project. Uh, they boast that they're a force of over 100 talents. Uh, in particular, one of the things that stood out to me when looking at some of the team members is going to be Mr. Sharma, who is their CTO, which T might as well stand for trading officer. Uh, he has a previous work experience with Binance, which may be that key reason that they were able to get onto the Binance launch pool. You could stake BNB and rewards, get that initial access, right? And what has that led to? It's led to a full-blown Binance listing uh, where it is trading over $184 million in 24 hour trading volume. Some people love Binance, some people hate it or don't trust it, but the fact remains that Binance is still a powerhouse in the crypto trading game. Looking at their fact, right? How, how is 
IO.NET different from AWS, right? Amazon Web Services, obviously huge, you probably already know about them. Uh, they claim to be fundamentally different, uh, IO.NET does. Uh, cloud computing, distributed, decentralized model. To put it simply, they're basically saying we're cheaper and decentralized and permissionless competitor to AWS. So what's the point of the coin, right? AI compute as a currency, pretty much it. This is their compute currency. This is their token currency. Looking at their tokenomics, programmatic coin burn system, revenues generated by IO.net from the IOG network are used to purchase and burn IO. This adjusts the amount burn based on IO's price, reduces outstanding supply, and creates deflationary pressure on IO. They generate revenue by charging fees to both users and suppliers. Their network charges a quarter percent reservation fee on the total cost to reserve the compute. Payment fees. For 100% IO payments, there are no fees. They charge you a 2% fee if you are paid out in USDC, a dollar pegged stablecoin. There's a fixed supply of 800 million IO tokens. There's hourly rewards, and we can see their emission schedule here where they will basically inflate at a lower and lower rate for just the cool next 20 years. So what do you think about IO.net? Personally, I find this a refreshing project and take merging crowdsourced hardware a la mining or basically a rebranded aspect of it where I'm renting my hardware to a cloud computer service. And of course, like any project that wants to be successful and popular in cryptocurrency, they have their own token. I'm curious to see where this one goes. And while AI may be absolutely booming, I don't see it busting anytime soon. As always, this is not financial advice. You do whatever you want to do. That's just a pink. That looks a little weird. Looks a little less weird. You're on the Voss Queen YouTube channel, home of our CAI, our Chief Artificial Intelligence Officer, Tails. We run 10 seconds of Tails in every video. Let's close this video out in style. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you on the next one.